Hey YMCA YouTube family, how are you doing today? This is Tabata. I am not going to call it Thursday Tabata anymore because some people are doing it lots of different times and I'm actually going to um, put up this workout right away so that you can do it earlier in the week if you want because technically the day that I'm recording this it's Tuesday. All right, so fun fact, it's Tuesday Tabata today for me. Um, feel free, obviously, to play this video whenever you see it up on YouTube, whenever you wanna do it, whether that's a Thursday, a Sunday, whatever fits in your schedule, right? Because everything, scheduling purposes, our magic word is what? Flexible, fluid. So we're really just moving our bodies when we can, when it fits into our schedule, but, you have to make that a priority. Have to take care of yourself. You need to move your body for at least 30 minutes a day. Whether that's a walk, a jog, a bike ride, this exercise video, you have to make time for yourself, okay? You're gonna feel better about it and then that's gonna generate and present out into the world better, okay? Makes us feel better, I promise. Everybody always feels better after a workout. So make sure that you have a little bit of equipment. I'm gonna use a jump rope and a kettlebell. You can use any kind of weight, whether that's a dumbbell, um, anything like that, medicine ball, slam ball, whatever you have at your house. You don't need a jump rope. You can just mimic the jump roping pattern. Um, and I might do that too if um, today's an off day for me and my feet keep getting hung up on the jump rope. I don't know, we'll see, because I have those days too. So make sure you have plenty of space around you. You will need a mat because we'll be down on the floor for a whole round of core at the end. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that you're feeling healthy to participate in this workout video today. Make sure you push pause on me if you need to. Take more rest, take more water breaks, listen to your body. And then also if you're coming back from any kind of injury or ailment, make sure that you've been cleared by a medical professional to start a workout program, okay? So have your equipment handy. We're gonna start our warm-up round, ready? Tabata, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest. We have eight intervals of that each Tabata round, and we are gonna get in six rounds. Ready? Let's go. All right, so I want you to march it out. Now, keep marching, grab your weight, grab your jump rope. We might use both of those in our warm up, okay? Now, traditionally, our warm up, we never really stick with the 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest because I just wanna move our body for the whole four minutes of that warm up, all right? Moving our whole existence, shaking out those wiggles, all right? Bring the knees up, tap it. I don't really wanna do a lot of plyometrics in our warm up. I wanna give our body everything it needs, the time and space to then possibly be able to push it and dive a little deeper into the workout as we get going, okay? So warm up is specifically that, to warm your body up. We don't wanna start pushing it too soon. Step, pull. So I'm kicking a heel towards my backside and I'm pulling, opening through the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades. <sighs> Hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I know it's only Tuesday for me, but I don't know. Maybe it's Friday for you. So hopefully you've kicked this week's butt and you're ready to go into the weekend. Two more. Good. Now, I want you to think about natural squat stance. Bring the arms to 90. Squat down, reach up. So in our squat, functional movement here. Think about how you're gonna sit back in a chair, brace yourself, Abs in tight, weight goes into the heels, and as we stand, we drive through the heels, which just means we push the heels into the ground. One more. Good. Now we're just gonna step it back, and when we stand from that lunge, we're gonna reach up. So we're gonna come back, stand, reach up, switch legs. Come back, stand, reach up. We're going to 
think laterally, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. So, arms here, we're gonna step out side lunge, reach overhead at the top. Step out side lunge, reach overhead. Thinking about keeping the ankle, knee, and hip in line, even when we side lunge. Hips go back, push off through the heel, last one. All right, now we just wanna jog it out. 20 seconds, this isn't crazy high impact, right? A Little bit of jog, knees up, arms 90, bend, extend. And then we're gonna go into legs is our first round. All right. These shoes are loud. Tap, 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 tap. All right, you got 10 more seconds. All right, so here we go. We warmed up for four minutes. We should be ready to tackle our full, first full round. All right, so we're going legs. I have my weight, I'm using a 12 pound. You can certainly go heavier than that, okay? So I always want you to think about bending, using the legs to pick up the weights. Bend the knees, do not use the back. Ready? Squats, here we go. Squat down, push through the heels, squeeze the glutes together at the top. So what I mean by that, is exhale, stand, squeeze your bottom together. So squeeze that tush, stand tall. Good, all right? Now we're gonna keep the weight and we're gonna do little baby frog hops. If you don't wanna hop, you can just extend on the toes. Stay low, abs in tight, lift. You can always be here, okay? You can always do a pulse. Lift, halfway there, you got it. So a little bit of legs, a little bit of cardio. Four, three, two, one. Let's do that again. So those last three or four seconds, you should have really felt the burn. You should really feel your heart rate increasing. Squats, here we go. in tight. Should be able to see your chest even at the bottom. Last one. All right. Deep breath. Baby frog hops. Okay. Roll your shoulders back. Pull your abdominals in. Sink low. Here we go. So we don't want our bottom to stick out too far. We want to tuck our tailbone slightly. We want to pull the pelvis in and up. Draw the navels in. Navel. Belly button, I should just say. Three, two, one. All right. So, staying in that lunge, we're gonna work one side at a time. Here we go. Drop it down and back. And you guessed it. We're gonna stay on this leg and do tiny lunge hops. One more. All right, take your rest here. Now remember, just like we did in the tiny frog hops, squat hops, you can just come up on the toes. So if you don't wanna be here, stay here. Raise up on both toes, even that front one, okay? Might hop a little side to side like me. Four, three, two, break. All right, last two of this round. Lunges, we're switching legs, and then baby lunge hops. Here we go, lunge. So, weights in that front heel. Push off the heel, squeeze glutes at the top. one. Rest. You're going to get 20
20 seconds of rest next, okay? Lunge hops. Here we go. Lift up on the toes if this hop is too much. Abs in tight, come on, you got it. Halfway there, don't quit. Four, three, two, recover. Bend your knees, sit that down for a moment. Okay, switching gears. Upper body, okay? Upper body. Single arm curl at the top, open it out, bring it down. So static, hold on that curl at the top, bring it out to the side. Don't force it. Your natural ability, right, in that open and close maneuver here, switch sides. So flexibility is key here. If you're not that flexible, who cares? No big deal. All right. Feet under hips, breathe out, open. So we're trying to keep hips forward. A lot of stability and strengthening of the wrist here and the forearms. Obviously not to mention the biceps. Good, bring it down. Two hands, you can hold your weight if you have a kettlebell bottoms up. The bottom point is towards the top or vertical, okay? Here we go. Press it up, press it out. Shoulder press, chest press. Knees are soft, but we're standing nice and tall. Wherever we're in this position, we have an option to pop a foot behind us. But if we don't have that foot behind us, last one, I want you to think about squeezing everything in. So the more you engage the entire body, the more protection you're giving your low back. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze the thighs. Don't lean back. Keep everything in a nice, tall position. Shoulders are over hips, hips are over knees, knees are over your ankles. So that means everything is in line. Good. Now, we're just gonna focus on the triceps. Biceps each side, shoulders, chest press twice, lift up, extend back. Everything else is the same about our position, whether you have a foot behind you or you're keeping everything nice and straight. Keep squeezing everything together, squeeze the elbows in, bend and extend. Last one, bring it down for a moment, Reset, roll the shoulders back. We're gonna do the tricep one one more time. Ready? Pop it up, bend and extend. See how my lower back isn't arched? Okay, I'm staying nice and tall. Sometimes we're here, but we don't want that. Tuck the tailbone slightly under. Recover. How we doing? All right, so rows, okay? Pop a foot back, squeeze, pull it in. We'll have a set each side. You can use both hands if you want. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. A little bit of work for the legs. Pressure's in that front heel, abs in tight. One more. Good, bring it up, switch. Here we go, set, core engaged, lean in. Use both arms if you want, here we go. We're always breathing in and breathing out with our movement. Breathe out when you're utilizing those muscles. All right, bend your knees, set that down. Cardio. Jump rope time. Jump rope time. All right, have enough space. Jump rope, with or without a jump rope. Ready? 20 seconds, here we go. 
Don't overthink it. If your feet are getting hung up in the jump rope, no worries. Set it down. Mimic the same pattern of jumping rope. Call this our JJ round. Jump rope and jacks. Okay? Regular jacks to start. Yes. Go. Now, option is always, no matter what kind of jack we're doing, step it out. Take out the hop. You got it. Woo, all cardio, y'all. Come on, you knew it was coming. I always have an all cardio round. Two and one, recover. <sighs> jump ropes. Nothing fancy with our jump rope, okay? We're going basic, old school. Go, 20 seconds. You control the speed, okay? That's just like saying you control the resistance. You can jump slower, you can jump faster, okay? You can kind of settle somewhere in the middle for three, two, one. This time our jacks, scissor jacks. Arms are gonna go up, feet are going forward and back. Ready, here we go, forward and back. Step these, you don't wanna jump them. Heart rate's up. We are in our fourth round, our fourth full Tabata. For those of you that like to know where we're going, we got two more rounds. Recover. We got a combo round next, and then we got a core round. Yes? Jump rope time. Go. This is our third set of jump ropes. We'll do four. Four jump ropes, four sets of jacks. For three, two, one, set it down. Okay. Slap back jacks. Feet go in and out. Okay. Same thing if you're stepping side to side. Difference is hands are down, tucked tight, close to the body, giving ourselves a little pat on the hands in the front and the back. You got it. Three, two, one, recover. Last time, jumping rope. Last time, 20 seconds. You can do this. Ready? Go. Smile. We're having fun. We're working out. We get to do this. Keep thinking. We get to do this for our body. We get to do this for our mind. Not only for ourselves, but for our loved ones. Recover. <sighs> Last set of jacks, okay? Last set of jacks. We're gonna do a little punch jack. So you're gonna punch, step and turn. Punch, step and turn. Feet go in and out. All you're doing is rotating hips, Torso, a little punch. Come on, y'all. Punching feels good. Straight wrist. Last punch. Woo! I'm gonna have to save that one in my memory bank because I really like that round. Okay, little combo. We're gonna use our weight. So all we're gonna do is marry lower and upper body, okay? Squat press, ready, here we go. Down, press it up. I'm gonna hold my weight bottoms up because I like the way that feels. You hold your weight any way that works for you. Squat, squeeze at the top, press at the top. Last one. All right, how we doing? Set of Lunges, one leg at a time. We're gonna bicep curl at the top. So you're gonna lunge down, curl up. Then we're gonna do another set of those squat and press before we switch sides on our lunges. Now, this combo round is gonna aid in keeping your heart rate elevated from that cardio round we just did. While it won't be elevated as high, okay, 
It'll still be elevated. Squat press. Woo! Rest is not that long. Here we go. Take it down, push it up. You still have time to squeeze at the top. Switch sides, bicep curl at the top of that lunge. We've switched arms, we've switched legs. Here we go, take it back, curl and stand. One more time. We feeling good so we're gonna turn the toes out tailbone pointed towards the ground okay we're gonna plie squat press at the top plie squat chest press at the top knees are going out tailbone is pointed down you're driving through the heels squeezing those inner thighs one more okay Stay in this position, so we're gonna do that one more time. Knees should not come over the toes, just as a guideline. Down, out, down, out. Maybe try this round to not fully extend. Hold that position at the top. Don't lock out the knees. Good, turn your feet in, bring it up. How we doing? We got two more, okay? Step it back. We're gonna lunge and extend. So take it down, extend up. So for our lunges, we got in biceps, now we're getting in triceps. But we're staying in that lunge, we're not coming in and out like we did for the biceps. Squeeze elbows in. Switch sides. Last one, y'all. Last one, then we're coming down to the mat for all abs round, go. Last one. Okay, set the weight down. You won't need any weights, you just need your mat, okay? Cross body jackknives to start. Bring it down, okay? Hands behind the head, you're gonna lift up, you're gonna switch feet every time. Not quite, I guess, a cross body jackknife, guess you'd say marching, sit up, whatever works for you. Breathe out, extend, touch the toes, flip it over, cross body mountain climbers, okay? Hands under shoulders, feet back, bring the knee across the chest, switch every time. Crunches. We love them, okay? Soles of the feet on the ground, hands behind the head, lower back on the mat, breathe out, lift up, go. One more. Good, rest the head, put the hands down at the side, reset, tuck your tailbone slightly to make sure that low back stays on the mat, lift head, neck and shoulders up, heel taps, heel taps. So we're looking for the outside of that heel, lift, try to keep space between the chin and chest, and breathe, 
Look towards the ceiling. Come on, five seconds. Recover. How we doing? We're almost there. Hip dips. Make an 11 with the forearm. Step the feet back, toes together. Drop hips side to side. Look between the hands. Just let that rotation come from the hips. Draw your belly button in tight. And recover. All right, a few more. Stay with me, hang with me. Push-ups, okay? Regular push-ups, hands wide, or er, then plank. Here we go, feet hip width apart. Abs are in tight, bring it down. Exhale, push the floor away. Last one. All right, Woo, we're almost there. So, heels down, torso back, palms out. Open and close, open and close. If you wanna make it harder, lift the heels. A little boat. One more. Pull the knees in. How we doing? This is our last one, okay? So, we're just gonna hold that position as long as we can, all right? Hold, arms overhead. If you need it, reset. Keep the chin off the chest. If you want, lift the heels. If you need it, you can be here. Come on, y'all, you got it. Five, four, three, two, Pull it in. Cool down time. Let's stay right down here to cool down. All right. We're gonna pull a knee in. We're gonna bring that across. Sit up nice and tall. A little twist towards that foot. Lean in. Don't force, don't struggle. Soften this knee if you need it. Woo, great job today whatever day it is for you. Good, bring it in, bring it over, hug the knee in. We're just gonna twist for a few seconds one way, and then I want you to use hand, twist a few seconds other way. Good. Bring it in. Switch sides. Sit up tall. Pull that leg in. Little twist. Lean into it. Okay. Importance of stretching gives our body a chance to cool down a little bit. Let's our heart rate come down because if we just finish exercising with the elevated heart rate and then we try to like go on about our business, um, we could potentially Right, get lightheaded, get dizzy. You need to give your chance, your body a chance to recover, and stretching is important. Okay, gets our bodies ready for the rest of our day. Okay, tight muscles, sore muscles. Stretching is excellent for that. You'll see over time, right, that potentially if you don't stretch often enough, you could injure yourself. You could constantly have aches and pains and soreness, okay? If you're feeling any twinges and tweaks and any kind of issues, it could be from lack of stretching, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. Good, crisscross applesauce here. Sit up nice and tall, pull the arm across the chest. And switch it. Good. Lift it up. Trying to put a palm in between the shoulder blades here. And switch. Woo, 
as always, guys, tell me anything that you have requests or you're looking for. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Any kind of feedback, any kind of suggestions, give it to me. If you have different equipment at home you need help using, email me, message me, give me a call. I'm here for you. Okay, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next week.